Yo, Jack, why these rappers all abandon the ship? You don't know? I don't know. Fuck the cat in the clip. It's like the, if you're Catholic, it's like the homily. Uh, they tell their lesson through parable. <clears throat> uh, I went to a school called uh, uh, Mirror Image, and it was fucking super cool. So when you go, you know, they all get you. It's an It's a military school. I mean, civilians can go too. I went as a civilian. Actually, I went as a contractor. Uh, uh, but it's a the army's, you know, pays for it or whatever. So, uh, yeah, you get there, everything, and then they put you on a bus. And once we hit camp, so the bus then takes you. This is a, a Wachuca. Took us like out in the fucking desert, wherever some camp, camp, uh, pull up, and then you couldn't use from that point forward. Uh, you couldn't, you had no cell phones, no nothing. Uh, all you could, uh, you could only go by your cunha, which is a, like your gnome de guerre. <clears throat> uh, mine, I don't remember what mine was for that, but like for, it could be, you know, it's like Abu, Abu, um, Al-Zarqawi, uh, Al man, <laughs> They have not refilled the tooth. They had a tooth taken out. My it has completely changed my speech. It's crazy. I can't Zarkawi. Anyway, Abu Musab means father of the troubles, right? So it's always like an Abu. This this is with the, the Sunni uh, Salafis or Wahhabis did, which is the <clears throat> super super it's the bin Laden strain of of the Sunni. So anyway. The whole idea is that you're you are now entering in an Al Qaeda. You are a foreign fighter that does not speak Arabic, entering into an Al Qaeda uh, training camp. That's the whole deal. So then they give you the whole garb, kawal shmiz, and all that stuff. Uh, and then from that point forward, you're in, and you can only use your name. You're not supposed to tell anybody. You or you get put into five or six man cells. I don't remember. Uh, but you get put into small cells and then you're not allowed to uh, tell anybody about your background. Like don't share anything. Don't share your real name because it's supposed to be totally immersive. I mean, and we trained it was badass. Uh, the instructors were role players too, and they were playing in roles. So they would play as bad guys, as, as terrorists, you know what I mean? And then like, so they were teaching you, how to look at all these events that we had been looking through, through our eyes to look at it through, through their eyes. How do they, what did they get from it? You know, what lessons learned did they get? What do they see? How did they look at these things? It was fucking awesome. And we did operations, you know, <clears throat> they, like we, I mean, you use sim munitions, simulator rounds, uh, it's this thing you can then you put it on the full barrel, but it allows you to use your weapon without. Like, anyway, it, they're like little paint things. Yeah. So then, and you go up in your thing. So in the morning we get class. At, well, first of all, they search you up at five in the morning, and you get up, and that's and they you you're going to prayer. So you do prayer, and then you do, <clears throat> uh, uh, Arabic uh, lessons, Arabic lessons. I mean, I was fortunate I'd already been through um, uh, DLI. So, you know, that was cool. But uh, <clears throat> that helped. I mean, they didn't teach you, you know. I mean, it was just, it was meant to just get you into that thing. And then you do classes. <clears throat> uh, well, you have an obstacle thing you got to get through because they try and teach you how to, how the Palestinians would get through the Israeli uh, fences, border fences. And so they're, teaching that. So every morning you'd have to practice all that. Uh, and then, then you go to class, then they, they teach you about an operation. They teach you how to conduct the operation. You eat lunch, which is <clears throat> a couple slices of cheese, an orange pita bread, hummus, something like that. Cause you're, you're in, I mean, it's supposed to be all, you know, full. And then that in the afternoon, then you do, um, you conduct the operation that you learn how to do. Like, <clears throat> uh, 
we learn how to like we stopped a, we hijacked a car to get government you know uh, credentials and shit we stalked and and took down a car government car uh you know all the way up to then like executing the governor shit uh yeah and they run you through qu- how to do questioning of course they don't call it questioning <laughs> uh yeah it was fun it was fun but uh the whole thing is to get you in their mindset it was funny of having a couple there was a couple of dudes who were just having real real trouble with it like they didn't understand that these guys were role playing so when they're acting like and i don't mean role playing like when you're out oh whoa, whoa, that reminds me of the probably the coolest thing was the uh you're in the you're on the back of a motorcycle bah, 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 and you do the fucking assassinations from the fucking paint pellets onto live targets with the simunitions but you got a pistol and you're right boom 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 and then the poor i mean they're soldiers i'm sure uh you know because we were on Wachuca, so uh you know probably like hey you guys want to get out of work for a day come do this and then <laughs> their jackets and sh- i mean they had like you know like some patty but you're getting tagged all day oh it's funny but that was cool that was badass but uh, um but yeah there were some guys that were just like man don't talk about america like that you know blah, blah, blah. and i'm like how do you not how do you not get what's what we're here for <laughs> you know, like, but it made so that made me think of mere image in uh intelligence analysis let me pull it up okay so if you look at the top mirror imaging <clears throat> this was uh the psychology of intelligence analysis it's it's a really cool pretty short book uh Da, 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 da. Uh, Dick Hewer, 1999. Dick. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> so, is the analysis assumption that people being studied think like the analyst themselves. So, part it's interesting because I don't know that I've been viewing. Well, I, I haven't, I've been viewing YouTube completely through and people completely through my eyes. Um, yeah. Hmm. Just interesting. So this will make sense as the video goes along. Cause this is actually watch out stoners. This is later than what you're about to watch, which was earlier than the last thing you watch. <laughs> I don't even know if that was confusing. It confused me. <laughs> I don't even know. If, I mean, it was all right, but it also just meant it. All righty. Uh, it's getting a little chilly, so I'll probably end up going inside here. Uh, but I did want to say I am to kind of throw in a strain review. Oops, sorry. Um, this is Banana Cake 63 or Banana Cream Cake, it's called. I'm not sure where they're getting the banana part from. I'm tasting more of a, <clears throat> I guess, a tea, maybe a tea will cleanse the palate. <laughs> Not a very strong taste to this one. Not a very strong taste. Though it is cold outside. I mean, I'm in pretty much the worst conditions. Uh, for taste. I mean, without it being, you know, for enjoyment. It's like, well, it's probably like 40 lower now. It's getting lower. But I just mean no precipitation. Cold. If you're getting all that cold air in. 
changes the taste and dulls the taste. We'll see how it makes me. You guys will see how it makes me because even if I cut this, if I go inside, I will go inside. Oh. Because it'll all be the same, you know, within the same time span. So you'll be able to, I guess I'll be able to see too. There are times when, like going back and editing a video a day later or whatever, <laughs> where I'm like, oh, oh my God. I had, I thought I was barely high during that recording. And I'm like, fucking off my tits. <laughs> I feel like I should do like, hindsight reviews i guess that's what you're supposed to do <laughs> instead of <laughs> i'm gonna review this without ever tasting it oh so i did all these pre-rolls they had this like sale and then this one place i go it sucks it's a little further away but they give a military discount uh so i actually have animal mints as well so i have ice cream 69 banana cream cake 63 and animal mints 55 i have no idea what all that 55 the crazy thing is here let me pull it up this is gonna i mean if anybody who's around my age why don't I need a banana now? Oh, oh, shit, I can't, oh, taste, oh, a I can't oh, taste a banana now. I can't taste a banana now. I wonder if that was just like... I wonder if that was just like... Damn, that's crazy. That's weird. God damn, that's crazy. That's weird. I mean, it's not like strong or anything, but fuck. That's crazy. I cannot believe what weed is today. But that's what I'm trying to show you, actually. Uh, I wanted to pull up... Oh, when I edit this, I'll put it in front of it. And you'll see, like, oh, my God. So that's the lab breakdown for that specific, not just that strain, but these. Uh, but, you know, when you do the dispenser, I mean, fuck, not even the dispenser. My, my vendor, uh, Ricky's Reefers, was doing it, too. They give you the whole goddamn, it looks like the fucking back of a prescription bottle. It's fucking nuts. I feel like roll it up. We had, like. Well, the first and most regular strain that was around was called whatever the fuck you got. <laughs> was it like, you got something that's kind of up? You would have got shot. <laughs> you had to go down to the St. Louis, you went down to the Cubans. That's what they call it. Uh, you'd have to go down there to get a little 20 bag. Then Hydro uh, was like, what was another one? Uh, we had Yarb weed for St. Louis people. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I just want to give it a name. Yeah, Yarb weed was like, that was great. That shit got you fucked up. That was like modern day shit now. Uh, huh. So crazy I could taste the fucking banana. Mm. So I'll talk about some news that I don't want to do it till I'm inside, but warm. Uh, so stuff that I was able to uh, uh, pull up on blind justice. I'll hold you in suspense. I know it sucks. I shouldn't have said it. We'll just fast forward because this is just going to be me shooting the shit a little bit while smoking this. <laughs> Uh, just fast forward to when I'm inside, and that's where I'll start talking about what I found out. But it was interesting, and in some ways makes it weirder than the information makes it weirder than, uh, <laughs> but I emailed him, uh, now they're able to verify some things, I emailed him, uh, Twice I just followed up. So I'll talk about that in a second here, too. Sorry, I'm just trying to fucking chug this thing. I wish I wouldn't have 
because it's getting cold as fuck. I mean, again, you can fast forward. I just always hate it. It's like, finish the joint. <laughs> you know, I mean, when you're a stoner and you're, I always like watch another, uh, Doug Benson, Getting Doug with High. Those, that's really funny if you've never watched it. It's an older one. It doesn't do it anymore. Uh, but it was him getting stoned with uh, com other comedians and uh, uh, actors and shit like that. Well, some actors, lower level actors, and some porn uh, actresses. Is that what you call porn actresses? <sighs> okay, all right. Oh, Jesus. All right, time to go ahead. That stuff is, oh, man, alive. So it's been about a minute of me staring at myself, <laughs> thinking about how, what I'm going to talk about, like, and how I want to talk about it. I don't ever do note. <laughs> I know that probably surprises a lot of you that you don't have uh, copious notes and an outline of any kind. <laughs> oh, man. That's why I like it, though. It's off the hip. Shoot from the hip. Off the cuff. Shoot from the hip. <clears throat> so, uh, the information I uh, got has been corroborated to separate sources, uh, both who are one one A rated sources, which means they've been truthful in the past. They're Americans. They've been truthful in the past history of blah blah blah. Uh, so there is no question, and should be no question in anybody's mind. That, that it's true, what has been found it, through official documents. I didn't want to <laughs> probably have to edit that. Well, I mean, you know, if you had a sense of anything. So, okay, going with that, knowing now what I know, it almost makes the whole fucking thing weirder. <laughs> In some ways, <laughs> I, hear me out on a couple of things. It, some of it makes it actually make a, a bit more sense, but I'm it's a I'm taking a huge analytical leap with what I'll say. So it has been uh, verified that he. Let me just so I get the dates. Yeah, obviously I'll add to this. Yeah. He was active duty uh, from 2002 to specifically August 2002 to June uh, 2013. So he is a proven active duty vet. Uh, <laughs> crazily enough, I mean... So the first one, the vet, I stand by that. Yeah, I was extremely skeptical of it uh, and definitely was open about my skepticism. But I was also saying it would be hard for him not to be some kind of vet to get through the to the point of the VA system that he got in if he wasn't a vet. So, you know, <laughs> And it's not about that, but I know people like the scorecard sort of thing, uh, which I get, which I get. It goes to my credibility. You guys don't know me, uh, but I would not have guessed that. This one blew my mind. He is a verified 18 Delta SF med special forces medic. <laughs> I just amazing. 
amazing. Now, you know, probably blue bacon's <laughs> folks or whatnot. Why don't I keep looking? Sorry, I keep looking. I keep forgetting I can do full screen and it's like, oh, that's weird though. Cause now it's like, I'm talking right back directly at myself. I do not like that. That is horrible. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, I just want to point out too that, I mean, there's videos of other vets call, calling horror shit. There's videos of other vets on his, there's his videos of a, that he has of other vets <clears throat> calling him out. So I just want to point out that um, <laughs> this set up, but it's interesting. It's interesting. I'll come back to it. Why? And, and it's, and it's learned. It's, it's, it's illuminating. It's illuminating truthfully. Uh, because you can't beat yourself up for being wrong. As long as you understand why you were wrong and actually know, <clears throat> and then you can, it's some, listen, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to verbally jujitsu this into whatever, but <laughs> I don't know. To me, I don't mind. I mean, I wasn't specifically wrong. I personally would have said, yeah, he's not a bet. I mean, I did, but pretty much. But I also really was sticking through the whole time that there's just no way he he could get through the VA to that even to that point through the VA without him being some some sort of that. Yeah, I did. I did think it was pop, quite possible that it was dependent stuff too. I did. I did. <clears throat> but I will say this: so what wrongs to me mean is you don't need a bat. It's not like a bat a thousand. It's not like a scorecard. It's like, oh, okay, now I can say it's not this. Okay, now I can say it's not this. <laughs> I mean, call it a, whatever you would, twisting it in a way that benefits me, but that's okay because that's how I think. I don't know if that's how anybody else thinks, but uh, that's how I think. And so it's not, it's not like, oh, just liking to be wrong, but... I'm just for this, I'm talking out loud what goes on in my brain, which is another piece of the therapy for it is how I am on the videos is how I am to myself <laughs> all day, man. Even if you, even if you dig me, I'm, that'd be a lot because it's a lot, but yeah. this is all more for inter to, view, to be viewed as entertainment than credible, but I get it. I went ham, sort of. <clears throat> I mean, I didn't go any further than anybody else did. I just said it out, out loud and quite a few times. Uh, however, <laughs> the 18 series, fucking, I will take the big, huge L on that one. Again, I'm about the millionth person <laughs> to take the L on him. Uh, in fact, the reason... It was kind of quick to get his stuff is because some other people had already looked him up. So, I mean, the dude raises a lot of questions. The dude raises a ton of questions. But I will <laughs> unequivocally say that I took nothing but a clear cut. I was dead wrong about him not being a SF dude. So, that was crazy. I mean... I don't know about his deployments or anything. He mentions Bragg. There are groups at Bragg. Uh, you know, and it would make sense. I mean, how would... <clears throat> so this is how it it, it actually starts kind of falling in place. I can... Uh, but... Like I said, in a certain way, <clears throat> it makes it crazier that he's acting the way he does and that he operates and functions the way he does um but there's no fucking way you were you were a green beret between 2002 and 2013 and didn't fucking deploy your ass off 
So, I, I mean, unless you got, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't see how how you could do. Even if he <clears throat> he had to have, I, I can't. I guess I was. It's un, not verified whether he has or he has, but <clears throat> deployed. I don't have that kind of. Sh- shit i'm not gonna go after that kind of shit i'm not trying to call him out i'm just trying to figure it out blue bacon i was calling out for sure this i'm I'm not i'm just trying to figure it out it's just trying to figure him out figure it out uh so and if you go back you can see from day one i'm saying that that's not calling him out so then again looking at it that way then let's use the information that we have then will the two things be the nor verified let's not assume i don't know <laughs> so the guy who assumes everything all the time i'm also realizing as i do this why that why there was always good to have somebody above me going <laughs> what hold on hold on <laughs> uh so yeah, he was. Uh, so oh oh oh. So what I was thinking too with uh, what I was what I was thinking about too is, and this is what I was saying earlier. This is a huge analytical leap. So, but using the information that he is a delta, and again, I don't, I don't mean delta force. When I say what I, if I use the word delta through here, I I mean uh, eighteen. Delta, which is the again the SF medic, <clears throat> not to be confused with Delta or Delta Force or CAG or you know whatever. So I was so now it's like okay, well, what would an eighteen Delta sounds like third group because he was at Bragg. That's where him and Christina met. Christina, Christina. Uh, I've been saying Holly too, and, and I got I thought I heard I I got that from some other creator and and thought that was it uh i think he was like calling or like i won't say it but it was like home i won't say it then i say it because <laughs> he was like calling her like homely holly or something like that i was like oh her name's holly um but yeah it's christine or christina but that he they themselves say they met when they were at Bragg. you know so an sf dude verified sf dude Verified active duty at that time, Bragg is third group. So from there, then I wondered, because it makes me curious, why would a guy like him, what, what, something had to be really mentally shattering or something to, 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 to have such a drastic change, or maybe it was there just, you know found a way out but something to me and i don't want to so anyway so i was wondering so if you if anybody know there was a, a major golston for, uh 2010 well that the action took part in 2010 he was the third group third he was a, a team leader of a oda 3121 uh Third group, first battalion, second platoon, team one. 31, 21. Yeah, I'm right on that. Yeah. So um, anyway, it's 31, 30, 31, 21. So in 2010, Major Golston. Okay. So uh, if this is from Army Times, so you can read the whole story. It's It's long and it's kind of crazy uh so in 2010 uh taliban bomb maker uh was captured but they couldn't get for some they, they couldn't link him to the bomb you have to have enough uh back then you had to have forensic certain amount of forensic evidence and stuff it was cool we had those weapons technology uh intelligence guys were our team so that was cool um but anyway, they uh, so they couldn't they couldn't hold them. They didn't have enough to hold the guy, but they were worried he. They were worried that the the tribal 
chief in the area um uh had been knew that had been identified by the bomber sorry had been <laughs> bananas has been good had been identified by the uh, uh bomber and so Golston, Matt, Matt Golston's guy's name, uh, him and it says two other soldiers and then somebody, I forget what it was, the Terp, I think maybe, um, somebody, anyway, they went and they got him, they executed him, uh, and then they buried him and then they dug and then him and other soldiers again, it says, <clears throat> uh, went, dug it up burn the body buried again so he this was down in uh marja helmand i can tell you as somebody who was in helmand just right after that that shit was no motherfucking joke those dudes in the marines down there were fucking hooking and jabbing man they were they were fucking in it i mean they were in it those dudes put in work uh and that's where this Golston guy was the team leader. And when this happened, where so he gets out of the military, uh, gets Silver Star for his action, not not for the execution, obviously, but uh, so he left. Nobody knew there was some investigation. I read at some point. Again, you can it's it's a decent rabbit hole. I mean, I have three tabs open for right now. Uh, to talk to look at before this and then um he leaves the military he goes to the cia uh he goes through their hiring process uh, i i don't want to say anything. Uh, i'm familiar with this i don't know me not saying something sounding making it sound <laughs> Anyway, he goes, there's stages in the process, right? So he's, he's pretty deep where he got, um, I mean, the poly was the last, was the last thing. And I'm guessing they were looking at him to be, um, uh, most people I think would, would know him as SAD special activities division but in the code it's paramilitary officer uh there yeah pmo there's a poo <laughs> i forget what that one was political paramilitary operations officers but i think it was like poo pmo <laughs> i i know because i went through this process uh i did not get selected but i got to where he did and uh, so I can't and won't tell you a certain thing, but you're pretty deep. You're pretty deep into it by the time you get to him or to where he's at with that poly. And um, during the poly, he, well, yeah, I'll stay away. During his polygraph, he uh, admitted to killing, to murdering this this Afghan. Uh, so CIA halts it. And when you go through any of these processes, uh, they tell you right up front, like this information gets fucking shared. And if there's prosecutable offenses, boom. So they report to the army. Army calls him back, <clears throat> calls him back on to uh, active duty to sit at Fort Bragg. I forget what, this is crazy. They closed another investigation and then he was on Brett Bear and then admitted it again. Like straight up. He, Cause they were, it's all weird. Just read it. It's nuts. I mean, but it got me thinking like 2010, right? He's in third group. You know, anyway, I mean, that's what I was, that's what I was wondering. So, yeah, so I emailed him and it was the second email. 
uh, you know, and told him, hey, man, I'm, you know, not ambushing you. I'm, it's almost made it more interesting to me <laughs> because a, a, a grifter, just a straight faker. <sighs> now, look, I am still 100% standing by everything else I've said. I do not believe they're connecting his, his, that's a service connected blindness. I think what he says about the VA and the blind rehab, it just sounds too, too fishy. And then the way they talked about it before, I don't, I, I don't get the feeling they, they service connect that blindness at all or vision impairment. Uh, yeah, I, I, I stand by all of it. I, I think everything else is, it's weird though, because he does it differently and it's interesting because his, I mean, it's an interesting way to do it because he's not lying. He's also not saying anything though. You know what I mean? Like, it's interesting to think about the motivation for it. Uh, I mean, look, I've known guys that PTSD seem to make them into a totally different person, but it wasn't like this. It didn't all of a sudden make them in like they're consistent in their aggressiveness and in their forgetfulness. I mean, it's like a different person, a whole different person. But uh, it sucks. But so I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird. So my thinking was, uh, maybe this. Maybe he was on thirty one twenty one with Golston, and that's where he gets it. I still say fuck you for weaponizing your disabilities. I still say fuck you for trying to think you can diagnose Vietnam vet or any other vets for that matter. <laughs> you have none. If you can't live with your demons, that's your thing. So I, I stand by all of that. I'm not saying he's right about any of that shit at all. And he's still at fuck. I just don't think it's. I mean, it's still it's still all weird, though. It's still all weird. And again, listen, I'm not verifying at all, at all, that he deployed. I'm not. The only thing that 100%, without a doubt, has been corroborated by two separate sources. Again, who were one A sources. Uh, or A1 sources. A1 sources. Uh, yeah. He was active duty from whatever, August of 2012, 20, 2002 to June of 2013. And that he was a qualified 18 Delta, which means he made it all the way through the Q court, which the truth is that's an extremely difficult school. I mean, it also kind of explains his arrogance because you're not, you're a smart person getting through that. I mean, you are not dumb and you can handle things. Uh, I mean, you basically come out as a physician assistant, right? Isn't that what they call it? PPA? They're like a trauma PA. I mean, it, it's no, no fucking joke. So I kind of get the arrogance part because he definitely thinks he's smarter than he is because his logic is fucking cuckoo. And his, the way he, his causal chains are broken basically <laughs> but I mean PTSD can do that shit gotcha it's, just, it's so it, do, it doesn't it almost make it stranger that is doing this that he is that and he's still this way who in the fuck talks about other vets and their suicides the way he does I just don't something is just really 
off about that. That is just fucked up. I have had and heard, I, I don't, I feel differently about my, but I don't, I've heard plenty of people blame the VA. I've heard plenty of people or, you know, inadequate care or that's usually what the, the blame is inadequate, inadequate care, which he's started to kind of say the VA was at fault for. And then, <laughs> then all of a sudden he said it, that's their fault. <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. So whatever, uh, uh, yeah, I, whatever happened, I don't know, but listen, that major Golston thing, the, the ODA 3121 thing was, um, I don't know if anybody can, I, I, there's no listing of who was on that team and, or anything. And again, none of this is to call anybody out. I'm just trying to figure it out because I got to say, if, if it ends up, he was on that team. <laughs> it would fucking probably explain the mental issues for sure. Uh, as in what's making you function the way you're functioning because you're clearly misfiring in some, some ways. Like, why would you fake this being as blind as, as you claim to be? What, why fake any of this? You know what I mean? Like that's the misfire, but <clears throat> yeah, I, I feel, I do feel like that would, that would give zero justification, but an explanation. <laughs> uh, I mean, he just doesn't. By the way, I did not mean to insinuate uh, that he was when it said him, Major or then Captain Golston, uh, and two other soldiers. Me went out, you know, went out and did it to insinuate that he was one of those. I didn't, uh, there wasn't my intent. I'm just saying there was others involved, right? And so the team had to fucking know about it. And if he's on that team and hell, if he's one of the people that helped him, fuck. That kind of would explain a lot. I gotta say, it would definitely explain the, the murder, torture, uh, uh, terror thing. Or if he was in seventh group, they had a team that was lifted out because they gave, I mean, all of this you can look up. I'm not talking out of school. I'm, not, I'm also not trying to talk about SF dudes. It just, I'm just saying in terms of him, I'm not, there's a lot of, I'm, I'm not trying to pull out their, the, the thing, bad things that happened with them. Um, but there was another, oh no, that would have been too late. I think, I think it would have been too, I think it was like 2014. Some of the group had a team pull out uh, some questionable things with a detainee that handed over, but it would have been too late. <laughs> I don't know. Makes me wonder, but it makes me think, but it's interesting trying to figure him out. God, that's so crazy. <laughs> I never, ever, ever would have guessed him. Got, I mean, he's got a little bit of a look to him, but, <laughs> you know, which is purposeful. But it is a certain. I actually had told Merb about it, uh, but I'm not trying to backpedal on it. I said there was no fucking way he was, and he is. You know, <laughs> interesting. So, oh my god, that was 30 minutes already. Okay, uh, I will be talking to um, a coded friend. Again, tomorrow, I think we're going to uh, talk about blind justice a bit. And then uh, uh, Chile. I think we'll discuss Chile's thing from the two live streams. I still got to watch the f all of the first one. I don't know. But anyway. Right. Roger, are now clear to engage the moving vehicle. Yep, engage. Oh, okay.